All right, uh, good afternoon and welcome to our channel, Princess It, the channel with uh, authentic information and legitimacy. Uh, today is the last day in August, the 31st of August 2024. Uh, we bring you an updated content uh, just as of late. We uh, I think uh, a couple of days ago, uh, we discussed uh, certain things concerning uh, the UAG subscribers, the valued subscribers, and uh, the significance of the forthcoming uh, development, which is set to unfold within two weeks. Yes, and uh, just in prelude to that, I will say that um, further details concerning that will be shared in due, in due course on this channel. So kindly uh, keep your eyes glued to your screen, keep your ears uh, on ground on our channels and be updated concerning, be up to date concerning our channel informations because we are bound to share them as soon as we receive them. And uh, now that uh, this bossment is near, yes, that's the tagline of this uh, this evening's commentary. Now that this bossment is near, we want to release some uh, cogent and very pertinent prayers for the country director, who is uh, really at the forefront of this uh, tussle and struggle. Uh, we might not know what is passing through a lot of things. We know what it is to be in ministry and to also add up uh, this burden uh, to the ministerial call that he is saddled with. It's a lot for him, a lot for him, a lot for his families, a lot uh, for his vision. So I think he needs some uh, measure of prayers as much as uh, we want uh, a delivery coming from him. Even the Bible says that we should pray for those in authority, forget about uh, uh, the pain that we face, we face within the country now. Forget about the coverlessness, the financial stress. Forget about the hunger on our street. Yet the Bible still says that we should pray for those in authorities so that they could do it well, and our prayers could uh, our prayers could help them to do what is right. Our prayers could guide them. Our prayers could direct them our prayers could make them to do what naturally they might not want to do so uh and i believe that uh apostle ken also in this vein really needs our prayers so uh from this channel princess it we are releasing this wonderful prayer uh onto the management of uaag and apostle ken we lift up the uaag first subscribers and apostle ken also asking for the strength the hope and reassurance that the disbursement is near we know that the timing of god is perfect and that god is faithful to fulfill his promises just as been said in isaiah chapter 46 verse 11 i make known the end from the beginning from ancient times what is still to come and we pray that the grace and the mercy of god surround both the beneficiaries and the country director and uh, may god's wisdom guide apostle ken as he leads the team we pray that he blesses them with the strength to wait patiently knowing that his promises are yea and amen just like it's been stated in second corinthians chapters 1 verse 20. Uh, we also pray with a thankful heart for the blessings and opportunities that God has bestowed upon us. We pray for God's guidance and wisdom as we start this new day, just as been promised in James chapters 1 verse 5, that if any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God who gives generously to all without reproach and it will be given unto him we thank the lord for his mercies for keeping us right alive all through this period of waiting uh we want to encourage you to keep looking up and never you lose sight of god's promises 
because better days are ahead and God's blessings are on the way. His love and mercies will definitely surround you as always. Just as Psalms chapters 121 verse 1 to 8 say so, the mercies of the Lord will surround them and the Lord will guide them and be with them and sustain them. So every one single individual that is in expectation of that which is to come, may the blessings of the Lord guide you, protect you, sustain you. May God's providences never depart from your home. May the vision of your calling never be uh, uh, smeared off. May the vision of your calling never be uh, distorted. May your sight never be blinded. May God give you the grace to carry on to the end and until that which you expect becomes a blessed reality, may you not renege on God's promises. May strength in these trying times be given to you. And to the country director, may God strengthen him and revitalize his strength. Just as we expect that in nearest time, in the nearest time, that all our expectations will become a visible realities. So I will see you there in your celebration time. It's right just around the corner. Yes, now that this postman is near, we need prayers more often than not. Thank you and have a very Saturday, a very good and blissful Saturday ahead of you. God bless you.